ATMs are made of two sections. The bottom is a steel safe that houses the cash dispenser. The head module contains all the user features on top. Most of the ATM's non-electronic parts are cut from steel sheets. Workers load the steel sheets into a computer-guided laser cutting machine. The laser uses focused light to generate intense heat. The heat melts the steel to make the cuts. The simpler parts are stamped with a die in a press. Next, a robot loads the piece into a fully automated computer-guided bending press. The press bends the part into the required shape. A computer-guided spot welder fuses the simple parts together at set intervals. For more complex parts, a computer-guided 3D laser welds the entire joint. An automated transport system dips the steel parts in a metal primer to prevent corrosion. After dipping, they dry the parts in an oven. The housing parts are sprayed with liquid or powder paint. Then they go into an oven to bake on the color. This is the internal structure for the ATM's head module. Workers assemble all the module's internal components, including the power unit and the ATM's computer. Then they lower the head module onto the ATM steel safe. The safe's walls can be up to two inches thick. There's a separate assembly line for the operation panel. This panel goes on the front of the head module. It contains everything used in an ATM transaction, from the card reader to the keypad and even the speaker system. The keypad encrypts the user's personal identification number inside the ATM. The machine has up to three security cameras. They record the keypad, the cash tray, and the ATM user. Workers connect the monitor to the internal computer. They also install the card reader and the receipt slot. At the bank's request, they can install a separate module for deposits. However, this ATM uses the cash out slot to accept deposits. Workers also install the shutter, a computer-controlled flap on the cash-out slot. It opens when the machine accepts a deposit or dispenses money. Next, workers mount the operation panel to the head module. On a separate assembly line, they prepare the electronic mechanical unit. It dispenses the money and accepts cash and checks for deposits. Workers load cassettes into the unit for each cash denomination. The bank will separate and stock the cash for their ATM. Before they install the unit in the ATM, they hook it up to a test computer. They test a few different transactions with fake bills to make sure it dispenses the correct amount. If the unit passes testing, workers install it in the ATM safe. They run a couple of the finished machines through several quality control tests. First, a shake test ensures the ATM can withstand a bumpy ride during transport. Next, they conduct a shower test to ensure that rain won't damage an outdoor ATM. There's also a climate test. They place the ATM in a chamber that simulates temperatures ranging from negative 40 degrees to over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. ATMs designed for extreme temperatures usually have built-in heating or cooling systems. Every ATM comes with basic operating software installed. The banks then install their custom software or have the manufacturer do it for them.